my friends. We are expecting a delivery today. I am very, very excited about this. The delivery that we're expecting is a package. It is a very special package, something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time, and it contains a top secret device. This is arriving in a Uber. It's my first time receiving something via Uber delivery. Oh, they're here. That white Jeep, I believe, is them. Okay, very exciting times, my friends. I'm gonna run downstairs and go and accept delivery here. Here it is. Inside of this tiny little bag right here is my very first package delivered via Uber delivery. So these two have co-founded a company together where they're basically, they've created a product which is gonna be a wearable device that essentially is a brain tracker. If you can imagine in your mind an Apple Watch and what that does to track your physical vitals, this device of theirs is supposedly going to track one's mental health. So the mental side of one's physicality. And so I was all in on this thing. I set up a meeting later on in that week to meet up with them, to talk about the product, to receive this thing from them. And finally, that product was being delivered to me this week. From what I understand, they've collected an, an inaugural group, uh, a, a, a small sampling of people all across America who are part of their very first initial alpha group of testers. And oof, one of these people includes us, my friends. So they're trying to get a wide sampling, a very diverse array of these different personality types and people who are very hyper-specific in their thing that they do. And what I feel I represent within this cohort of people is I have like a creativity side of me that is very strong, right? So we do obviously video editing type of stuff. I play music. We have this project going, you know, this is kind of a weird, different thing that most people are not doing. So I think it's like the creativity, the video stuff, the music stuff, all of that combined, I kind of represent this creativity side of a person's personality type. And that's probably the strongest asset that I bring to the table with all of this stuff. Uh, these people know that we have this video project thing, like this thing right here, they're very aware that I make these videos. And they told me in my meeting that I am not allowed to share what the device looks like, at least not this first iteration of it. Um, so every time I'm wearing this thing, I'm going to have to like blur it or like somehow obscure the image. Obviously, you can tell it's very tiny. It's about the size of a quarter. And essentially, you take this device. It's a physical product and it literally attaches. It sticks directly to your head. Basically, it places on the back of your ear back here, uh, makes contact with your skin. It doesn't actually penetrate your skull, right? It's not like that, but it, uh, it, it just sticks to your head. And so we're going to be using this product over the next few weeks, few months. We're going to be testing it out, and I'm going to be sharing feedback with the company. When you're looking at me like head on like this, you can't see it because it's very tiny, and it's on the back of my head. But when I turn like this, you can see it right back here. This week, 
we're going to another dating event. This one in particular is an interesting one. I learned about this online, bought a ticket a while back, but basically it's held at a bar here in Brooklyn. They've rented out the whole venue. And what makes this event in particular very interesting is that their whole, you know, there's always like some sort of gimmick to each of these things, right? So their whole gimmick for this one is that at the event, there is no host. There is no host. So you show up, everybody has their phone, and they text you instructions when you arrive on how to meet your matches for the night. So it's very similar to like a speed dating type of thing, except all of the instructions and like knowing when to go to your next date, uh, all of that is coordinated through text message. So basically like if I were showing up, someone in there would receive a text that said like, hey, your date, his name is Kevin, he's wearing this blue t-shirt and he's carrying a blue bag. And then that person would know to come and find me. And then I simultaneously am getting instructions on who my person is. And that's kind of like how it works throughout the night. So it's similar to speed dating in that uh, every so often they have you swap who your partner is. And that's all done through the instructions on the text message also. So it's a very interesting concept. I'm looking forward to it. I think if it's organized really well, it'll be a very nice, different way of going about things. Okay, I just went home to change clothes. We're now heading to the event. And so because the event is going to be starting soon, they sent out an introduction text. So in the text, they link to a website. And then on the, page, the first page of the website, they have you fill out a little, like a questionnaire type of thing about like just descriptive words on how someone could find you. So I inputted that I'm wearing a red polo, some brown pants. And so that'll be what is used for my matches when they're trying to find me at the event. It's at this place called Vine Apple, which is a bar in Brooklyn Heights. I'm gonna attend the event and then I'll do a recap afterwards with like, just to kind of compare and contrast like how this one is compared to other ones that are kind of similar that I've done in the past. My friends, it's a few days later. We went to the dating event, successful. Honestly, this is one of the better events that I've ever been to out of all of them that I've ever been to. And what made it unique was that it ran so smoothly despite the fact that there was no organizer there for the entire event. At a speed dating thing, normally the way it works is there's usually someone there who like rings a bell when it's time to rotate or there's like a, yeah, like a person who rings a bell or a person who's at least there to just be like, hey, everybody get up and move to the next table because like meet your next pairing or whatever. There was none of that. And I thought that the fact that it ran so smoothly was very, it was very nice. In total, there were nine boys, nine girls. You meet everybody over the course of the night. And at the very end, you fill out this little questionnaire thing about who you want to match with romantically, who you want to match with friendship wise, or who you don't want to match with at all. Then it takes all that information, does the same for you. Everybody submits their information through their phone. Out of those nine, I indicated that I was interested romantically in four people. And then when I got my results back, out of those four, two of them mutually indicated that they were interested in seeing me too. I received my results yesterday. I've already reached out to the two people who I matched with. And then I'll report back next week about how things progressed here. I'm walking over to Dumbo now. They've been doing this thing over the summer that's like a, um, underneath the Manhattan Bridge, they do these free concerts, meeting up with some friends over here. It's always a different music group or a different artist every time. So we're just walking over to check out what's going on over there today.
We're now going home. Concert is over. We're gonna have Mike do question of the week this week for this week's vlog. All right, question of the week is, what is your favorite comfort movie? Are we gonna say the same movie? Yeah. Oh. Three, two, one, and then we'll. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Mean Rush Girls. Rush Hour. Oh! <laughs> mean Girls and Rush Hour. Wow. But Rush Hour is a really good one. Rush Hour 2. Rush Hour 2, specifically. Rush Hour 2, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yours is Mean Girl. Mean yeah, well, Girls. Mean Girls is a good comfort movie, yeah. Honestly, okay. No, that's both good. Both are true for both of us. Okay. Wow. No, that's really good. I thought you were, you were totally gonna say Rush Hour 2. I. I well, I know. I thought Mean Girls right away. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Um. Damn, I didn't think about this ahead of time. <laughs> I'm gonna go with um. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Uh, that's such a good I haven't one seen yeah. it like forever. Oh, okay. Damn, yeah, that's yeah. Such a good one. It's just a classic for me. Is that the one with the pigeon lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Central Park. Okay, it's been good. Damn. Thanks for being a part of this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am currently wearing the device right now. It's right here behind my ear. The testing period, it lasts for maybe a couple of months, maybe? I'm not exactly sure, but this is going to be what I'm going to be doing for the next few months, just kind of playing around with this product. Thanks for watching the video this week. It's been year 14, week number 723. I'll see you next week in week number 724.